Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd where we have a two-in-one special today. We have the Spectrum Afghan that was filmed and designed in 2012. It's now 2024 and we have a similar looking one, but as a designer, I've learned to do things better and you will see that this version here will sit completely flat where the other version did not. So what I'm going to do today is both of them are very similar except for round five is unique for both of them, which I will cover individually here on the same tutorial. So whether you want the added ruffles or the flat version that's today. There's also a method to the madness. This one is called overstocked and hooked and what it was is that I looked at my collection and I decided that I have all this extra yarn so this is using Karen Simply Soft yarn and it's just using one ball of every color that you see so the white was one ball and so on and you just can go to the video description link and you'll find what those colors were. Now when I do the colors, I do it in a spectrum way. So I do a lighter blue, darker, and then darkest. And then I put a white round in, and then I do the next spectrum. So I have darker green, green, and then um, a light sage here. And then I have a white, and then I do from my pinks to my iris and orchid colors. So it's a really neat idea in order to blast through the colors. So the sequence is very similar to this. This was using Bernat Super Value yarn. You'll find the colors on the website as well. So just go to the video description, you'll see a link, and then you can get access to that. You use a five millimeter size H crochet hook today. I'm just gonna use some spare yarn. I'm going to get yourself started because after we get beyond round number five, it's pretty much the same instruction. The difference is, is that it's, it's the coloring. So every one of the colors is using three rounds. So three of this, three and three, and then one round of white, and then three, 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 and that's how I did it. So this particular blanket here is a nice little size here for the back of your sofa, or maybe you wanna wrap somebody up. And then this one here, because of the difference of having like ruffling, this one has more so that you can cuddle up with somebody else and have that extra um, yarn and because the blanket has a lot more give to it. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's begin and we're gonna start with a slip knot. And we are gonna chain a total of four. One, two, three, and four. And slip stitch to the beginning chain and yarn over pull through and use the straggler around the circle so that it gets stuck underneath and let's move on to round number one. Round number one, you're going to notice is that the rounds are, you little, are a little unique when we go to start and you're gonna just chain one. So normally when we're doing double crochet, we chain three, but I find with this pattern, it looks like it's really bad. So you can leave me a comment on how you feel about that. So in the center of the ring, just apply 12 double crochet. So the chain one doesn't count as a stitch and it's just more of a filler. So let's count those 12 out together. So we have one and two, go right up over top of the straggler, trap it underneath, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Be very careful that you do have 12 before you finish off. So count it back on the, on the posts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So on the 12th one back, which is right here, you're just gonna slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet. So I usually count them back just to verify. And the chain one, what that does is it holds and hides in a gapping space that normally occurs. So we're going to trim that out and get ready for round number two. Round number two, chain one, it will not count as a stitch. In the first one that is with the join, you are going to apply two double crochet into that one. So every stitch, is going to have two double crochets all the way around. So you just jump to the next one and place in two double crochet and do this all the way around. So you should have 12 groups of two by the time you come all the way around. And please do that now and put me on pause. So when you're coming all the way back around, this here is part of the very beginning. So people accidentally put extra stitches right here. So you should count 12 groups of two just to make sure that you are doing it right and then slip stitch to the beginning double crochet and when you slip stitches, see how it pulls it together? This right here is a chain one. So you see how this is hiding in a gapping space that normally occurs. So that's why it's there. Let's move on to round number three. 
Round number three, chain one, doesn't count it as a stitch, and in the same one of the join, apply one double crochet. In the next stitch right here, apply two double crochet, and that's gonna be your sequence all the way around. Okay, so let's just cover that one more time. So you're gonna put one into the next, and then two into the next one after that, and that's your sequence, so one and two. So one and two all the way around for round number three, and, uh, and if your stitch counts are right, the stitch right before the join will have two double crochets in it to help you keep balance. Please do that all the way around for round number three. Coming around on number three, the last one is two double crochet, and that's just keeping in the sequence, so that's not a special thing to do. And once you get that done, slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet to finish off round number three. Okay. So if you're seeing it's kind of bowling a little bit, don't worry about it, it will flatten out. And let's begin to do round number four. Round number four is the final round before we start doing points. So we're gonna start our first one, chain one, doesn't count as anything. And the first two stitches will be just a double crochet that will be standing by itself. So we have one, move to your next stitch, you have one in there. And then the one after that will have two into the same one. I'm gonna give you a little piece of advice here. It makes it easier for you as well. If you can identify the stitches, see how there's one by itself and then there's two in the share. The, th the one that is in the share, it's the second one is always gonna be your one that will have two in there. So you can count it out and say one into the next and one into the next and then two is in the next one and you see it's in the second half of the one that is sharing underneath. So if you wanna visually look at that, you can as long as you are confident in your your math. Okay, so one and one by itself and two into the next. Please do this around for round number four. End of number four, there's two just before the ending and that's just keeping in the sequence and then just slip stitch to the top of the first. Double crochet. So you see the, the seam lines are really quite hidden because of that chain one. Let's move on now to round number five and we're going to start with the spectrum version first and then I'll come back and do round number five for the overstocked version. Next. To do the spectrum one where you'll have the massive ruffling, you will do it like this. You will chain one and you will single crochet into the very first one. And you will skip just one stitch only. And then in the next one here, you are going to apply two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. Then skip only one and single crochet in the next. Then skip just one and single crochet into um, Okay, let's do another point. So we skip just one and we'll do another point. So the points for this particular version is two double crochet chain two, two double crochet. So every time there's a point, even in the future, it's always that same information. So skip just one, single crochet into the next, skip just one and do a point. We're gonna do this all the way around, which I will conclude in just a few moments. And then I will rip this out and show you the overstock version. And the biggest difference is that the points for the spectrum has 12 points where the overstock only has eight. And because uh, hindsight is 2020, I realized in 2024, these are too close together, which causes the ruffle, but it's still a nice way to go. I'm coming around to number five for the spectrum version. And so we wanna verify our number of points and there should be a total of 12. Okay, so here, this is the final point. We've already done the single crochet when we started, so we are just going to then just join with a slip stitch to the beginning. So make sure that you have 12 points. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And so because it looks good now, this is one of the issues that I had in 2012 is that I realized it's sitting flat. Okay, it's good to go. But then these points are too close together, which causes the ruffle. So when you go to start the next round, we're always going to just jump and just jump over in order to create the spaces that we're going to need. And we'll be covering that in round number six for both of them because they're both gonna be the same. The only difference is as one will have 12 points and the other one will have eight. So what I'm gonna do is frog and I'll show you how to do the overstock version next. 
which is round number five once again. This is round number five for the overstock version. We chain one and we single crochet the first one. And this time we are going to skip two this time and we want to go for the third one but because it's so far away we want to treble into the third one away. So one and two skip, go to the third and we want to treble. And then we are going to apply two double crochet. And then we are going to chain two and then we continue into the same one of two double crochet. And then one treble. So each point is going to be one treble, two doubles, chain two, two doubles, one treble. You were going to skip the next two and single crochet in the next. And you're going to do that all the way around. So start again. So skip two and treble into the third one away. And then two doubles. And then chain two and then two doubles again and one treble. So the reason why there's a treble there is so that it can stretch out so it doesn't buckle on you. So it just wanted to skip and single into the next. So please do this all the way around and you should have eight of these by the time you get around. Please do that now and we'll be back on number six in a moment. When you come back around, you are just going to slip stitch to the beginning single crochet and let's count and make sure we have only eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we're ready to move on to round number six for both of them. So let's begin round number six. So in this version here of the overstocked one, we have the points that were one treble, two doubles, chain two, two double, one treble. So there is six stitches complete with the chain two space. In the other version of the spectrum, there was only two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. What I'm about to show you is the same for both. And what we need to do is that we need to slip stitch over twice. So slip stitch over to the next double crochet and to the next double crochet. So this one here, when we go to start, is the second one before the space, but on the spectrum, it's the one before the space. So we start and we just chain two only. And I find that the joining of the slip stitch plus the chain two is a good enough height. And when we go to join it, when we come back to this particular point, we join to the top of the chain two. So in the spectrum version, you're gonna jump right to your corner. The corners will always be the same, like, AKA the points, and it will be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. But here on the overstock version, you have another, another double crochet left before you do the point. So you will notice that is that the points are a different count between the two. So it's going to be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. When you come out of this one, if it's a spectrum version, you only have one stitch left. And so you'll do just a double crochet. But here on this version of the overstocked, there's going to be two. And how I know this is that it, I, I don't want to do the one just before the single crochet. So I want to leave this double crochet empty. So I want to skip this double crochet, this single crochet, and this double crochet, and jump to the next one. So in the spectrum, this is the one before the space. And on this version, it's the second one before the space when I jump over the three. So you're just going to climb up the side of double crochets, and then you do your points of your two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. So this is establishing the shape for the remaining of the blanket. So I'm looking to where this is, and I'm looking and I want to ignore the ones right in the center. So here on the overstock version, there's two double crochets, but on the spectrum, there would only be one. So I'm jumping over those three and go to the next. So if it's the spectrum, the space is next, but on this one, there's one before you get to the space. So I need you to do this all the way around for round number six. And then this brings us back in balance for the remaining of all of them, or for both of them, I should say. And I'll be back at the end of round number six in a moment. I'm gonna leave you one tip 
sometimes when you do the points is that the first stitch can look like it's being buried. And so if you cannot see the top of the first stitch here, just pull it back to open up that just in case you're not seeing it. So where people go wrong on this kind of stitch work is that they miss the first stitch after they've done a point. So I'm gonna skip the next three and just double, double. So I keep doubling until I get to the top of the point. And the point's always gonna be the same for both. So two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So this point can literally cover over top of the first stitch by accident. So it's right here. Okay, so if you don't see it, just pull it back so you can see it. And if anywhere, that's where you're going to go wrong is right there. So please continue to do, to do this for round number six. So I'm coming all the way around. So on the spectrum, it would just be one after the point. In this case, this is the overstock, so there's two. But I'm still just skipping the first, the, the three that you have. So don't confuse um, the chain one as a stitch here. So you're skipping this double, this single, and this double. And you were just going to slip stitch to the top of the first chain two to bring this into conclusion. So it's bowling up a little bit, don't worry about it, it will sit flat. And now you're ready to continue. So this is round number six. So the white finished off at the end of round number 10. So what I'm about to show you is the same for all of it now right into the very end until you get to the last round of your blanket. So let's move on to seventh round. Now the seventh round is the same for the, uh, the remaining. The single crochets are now gone. So whenever you slip stitch to the top of the chain two, you slip stitch then to start the new round to the very next double crochet, and then you chain two. That counts as the first double crochet, and then you continue to double crochet going up the point until you get to the point, which is the same information as you already know. So the points will always be two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet. So here's a tip for you. When we started the last round, we had four in the overstock version, the spectrum would have three. So in this round, you should expect that you'll have an extra stitch. So you have one, two, three, four, five. So you have four, five, next time it will be six and seven and so on. So if you think that something is wrong, just use that information to help you. When you come down the other side of a point, you're only using the first ones, so you're always gonna skip the two middle ones here. So in this case, I'm just doing the first three, in the spectrum, there will only be two. So just stop until you get to the one that is right before they join together. So you skip this one and this one, and just jump over them and just start going up the next point. Of, and just, you don't need to count, unless you're feeling a little self-conscious, then just continue to double crochet going up and do your points, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and then come on down. So you just stop when you see the two middle ones in between. So you don't really need to count as per se, because I didn't. So you just gotta stop when you get to the two middle ones so you don't fill those in and just jump over them and just start going up the next point. So every time you go around, the points get bigger and more sp uh, spanning out from each other. Okay, you'll see that and then they'll grow out just like the real sample. Please do this all the way around for round number seven. When you come back around, you are just filling in all the spots. You were ignoring the two middle ones and you were just going to slip stitch to the top of the first chain two. So when you start another round at this point is that you automatically just slip stitch to the next one, chain up two and continue to double crochet until you get to the point and then you do your points as normal. So in my case, what's happened is that you use the same color until round number 10 and at the end of round number 10, then you can change your colors and then the colors change every three rounds. And you'll see that video inf that information in the video description if you follow the link to the free pattern that's available on my website. So you can see how that's done and so no matter which one you're working on, you will always do the same thing. But in the, or in the spectrum, you'll have the ruffling because there's too many stitches right on round five. But on this version, you'll see that it's sitting nice and flat. One thing I'm going to leave with you is that when you go to join a new color, let's just say that you are ready for a new color and you can change its colors as often or as little as you wish. Then what you can do is that you're just going to just grab your yarn and just grab the next color up that you want. So instead of slip stitching over 
like we had been, you're just immediately going to start in the second one over and you are going to join it and then chain two so you don't need to slip stitch that so it will not impede on that color and just continue to use this color then to go up and just continue to go all the way to the point. And then you do your points of two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet. So remember what I told you is that every round when we started off, we had three, then it was four, then five, and so then you'll see six this time. So that's how this is thing is gonna grow out. So you're gonna change the colors as often as you, little as you wish, but the final round is slightly different from all of it. And I'll show you that next. Let's just say you're ready for the last round. So I will have gone over, just one over, and I would have started a new one. So I will still just chain my two, but then I will just double crochet going up the point. So obviously by the end of the blanket, you're gonna, your points are gonna be much bigger, right? Then in the, the point here, I no longer want to create a space. So I want to just do five double crochets. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. So it fills in that space. So I no longer have an open space on the ends. And then I continue to come down and I'm just going to double crochet. And I want to jump over the two middle ones between the points like we had been. So that has to be maintained in between, okay? So I, I'm still going to jump over the two middle. Okay, so I jump over these two, just go to the second one over here, so it's a third stitch away, and just double crochet going up all the way to the point, and just put five double crochets into the point, and therefore you will have your stitch work, you'll have the nice lacy work, but the final edge will look solid. And that's what I would do. This here is the Spectrum and the Overstocked Blanket. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Let me know how you did in the comments. Bye-bye.